Welcome back. We have a football season, folks. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post. Now it's time for the team previews and uh, uh, ask Coach Battle from Wall Lake Northern, of course, Terry Battle, for those. Uh, he, he joined us in our original team previews. Then the season kind of paused, and uh, I'd like to welcome back the Wall Lake Northern Knights to the, uh, to the, to the program. Coach, uh, how surprised were you yesterday when you found out about all this? Oh, Casey, you wouldn't believe. I was very excited. Uh, not only for our players, but our coaches. You know, we were kind of chomping at the bit and ready to get this season started, as well as our families um, and our community in general. I mean, it was uh, great news to receive, and uh, I thought that the governor did it in a, a timely manner. So we're very pleased with the decision uh, that we're moving forward with the season, and we're excited to get started. As usual, you have brought some players with you. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and introduce them. All right. First off, I have Jackson Mulholland, uh, quarterback, uh, DB, and slot receiver. I have uh, offensive lineman Michael Williams, and also Brendan Ladd, wide receiver, here with us today. Awesome. All right. All right, All right players. Where were you when you found out? What were you doing? <laughs> Um, I just got off of school, you know, I was sitting here, I was on my phone on Twitter and that's when I had originally got the notification that we were going to have a season. Um, I was shocked at first, you know, I didn't really know. I was like, is this actually going to happen or are they <laughs> just going to give us false hope again? But, you know, I'm excited and I'm ready to get back out there and work. So. That's awesome. Jackson, I was, um, I was golfing with some buddies of mine on the football team and they told me because I didn't have my phone but they did and then I we all heard the news and we all started like throwing our clubs and stuff <laughs> <laughs> we were all hype Michael what were you doing uh, I was just on my phone get some school work done real quick last day of school for the weekend then I was like oh we got football I was like bad let's go <laughs> yeah um now nah. What I was doing is just trying to find out everything because probably most everyone found out the either uh, tweets from my colleagues or um, tweets from myself. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Very, very busy day for, for myself. But uh, anyway, um, looks like the schedule is going to be six weeks. Um, you guys are going to start off with Lakeland. Is that home or away? Cause I, I, I didn't know if the Lakes Valley conference was going to, uh, you know, maybe change the locations on everything. Where no. how's the season going to start? Yeah, right now um, we're still slotted to play at Lakeland uh, week four. And um, so I don't anticipate them changing the schedule. I know that the MHSAA came out saying that we're guaranteed at least seven games. So you'll play six um, and including everybody's going to be automatically qualifying for the playoffs. So that uh, gives you that seventh game, and uh, there's no guarantees, as you know, after those seven games, if you don't continue to to uh, put to those wins together. So um, that is what we're we're told right now, and and that's what we're going to move forward with. Of course, uh, this is uh, as many people forget because it's been a while. This is your first year coaching varsity football. And, of course, the first time you guys go on the road, and, of course, that brings its necessary challenges, you know, with um, possibly not using a locker room. Um, the, the bride there is going to be different. So um, are you guys ready for all these changes? Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to take some time to get used to, but I think it'll be an easy uh, transfer over. I mean – Everything that, you know, we just bring in from last year to this year, just a little bit of a change. You know, I think we can get used to it. I think that all of us are ready for the changes since we've been going through them all together. So, yeah. yeah. And another thing you have to look at is one of the – the thing is with the Lakes Valley Conference, I know um, you don't get to play everybody in, in the conference, um, losing out on some of the rivalries. Um, well, I, I think – are you still – I think you're still playing Central and Western, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. That is currently on the schedule. I think the, the schools that we um, 
was um, bypassed as Milford, um, Kettering, and I believe Mott. But I know for sure Milford and Kettering were two teams that um, were eliminated from the schedule at this point. Okay. Um, players, for you, what's the biggest thing you want to accomplish this year? Because um, let's just say last year wasn't what you guys wanted. First year coach, first year new coach, new kind of team. Um, each of uh, just something from each of you. What do you want to accomplish? Me personally, um, this year I want to accomplish going undefeated in the seven games, and really giving it to Central this year, really bad. <laughs> and uh, and then as a team, I want to see us grow every week, and work harder and harder, and then. Once we get to uh, game seven, we got to – well, we'll we'll see when we get there, but we got to win game seven. Better boy. What you think, Mike? Uh, I think for me, uh, just getting better week in, week out, just trying to go somewhere, do something, you know, get better as a player, as a team, because I see the team we have now, and it's way better than last year, what I thought about, because our guys are, like, growing up and all that, new coaching staff. So week in, week out, just get better by each opponent and just wait for that game seven, just rock and roll. How about for you, Brandon? Yeah, just to follow up on Jackson and Mike, you know, we got to take each week, you know, separately. But I want to ring, you know. I want to I want to be up on the big stage and, you know, perform and deep in a playoff run. Something that, you know, I personally and a bunch of my classmates have never got to experience a deep playoff run. And, you know, maybe with these three bypass games, you know, Gives us a little bit more motivation, more push, you know, less time, and we can, um, you know, shock a lot of people and play on the big stage. I think we're capable of doing that. I think a lot of teams are going to be shocking a lot of people this season. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> unprecedented territory for sure. That's right. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for coming on, and uh, we will see you in two weeks when you guys head over to Lakeland. Congrats. Uh, good luck, and uh, you guys got a season. Good. All right, hey, hold on real quick, Casey. Let's go, Brendan. Break us out of here. Let's show them how we do it. All right. Hey, nice on three. One, two, three. Nice. nice. Hey. All right.